Praise the Lord, saints. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. This is the gospel movement, yo. Jesus Christ movement. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in its entirety without compromise. I have another blessed, fresh, Holy Spirit, fair word. Come from our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. Very powerful message. Once again, we must take heed to all these end time gospel messages from our Lord, Savior, Jesus Christ. Very, very powerful. Um, God has shown me a vision, Um, and, and this is an awesome message he has for us today but before i give you the title he wants me to show you something um which he showed me in a vision um how how he looks at looks at everything how he looks at everything when we, when we say that we truly um love god and, and 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 christ is our lord and savior how he looks at that um and he wants me to show you illustration you guys see this this is a holy bible king james version holy bible okay I'm gonna do something right here, and and you guys might be like, oh wow, this is this is very uh, sacrilege or whatever the case may be. But watch what watch what I watch what the message is today. Okay, this is a holy Bible. This is a King James Version Bible, and this is uh, Isaiah Isaiah 26 Isaiah 26 three through four Isaiah 26 three through four says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusteth in thee. Trust ye in the Lord forever, for in the Lord Jehovah's everlasting strength. It's a holy Bible, King James Version Bible, right? Watch what I do. Watch this. Tear this out, throw it on the ground. Is what now what is wrong with me doing that? Oh wow, he did something very sacrilegious. He tore a piece of piece, uh, tore a page out of God's sacred holy Bible and threw it on the ground. The title of the message is today is, is, is this right here. We must hide God's holy word, who is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, into our hearts. We must hide, hide his word in our hearts. So, what's the point of, 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 of this Bible being sacred, this holy Bible, God's holy word being sacred to us in our minds, if we don't hide the word in our hearts? It's like tearing it out, throwing it on the ground. Let's go to another one. So, well, we've seen Isaiah 26. He will keep him in perfect peace. Who's mind stayed on him because they trust in him. Let's go to Isaiah 54. Let's see what Isaiah 54 says. God's trying to show us something here. No weapon that is formed against you shall prosper, and every tongue that shall rise against you in judgment, you shall condemn. This is the heritage and the, and the and this is the heritage of the servants of the Lord, and their righteousness is of me, says the Lord. Once again, tear another page out. Once again. If we don't hide God's holy word into, in, into our hearts, who is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, that word, that word means nothing, nothing to us if we're not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us. We can think this Bible is sacred all we want. That's what the devil wants, just to force us to think the Holy Word is, is the Holy Bible is sacred, but we don't have a heart of repentance toward our sin nature um, to live according to it. Does that mean we're perfect? No, I mean, we, we, we make many mistakes. But what this does mean, we have a heart of repentance and looking to Christ. We're being Holy Spirit led, not fleshly driven. Let's go to another one. St. John. See, the weapons are worth for not carnal, but mighty through God to, put, to the pulling down the strongholds. So the whole point of the matter is, the spiritual war is fought with the word of God. And we have to have um, God's holy word hidden in our hearts in order for us to fight effectively. St. John 3, 16 through 18. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever, whosoever believeth, in him should not perish but have everlasting life, right? For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believes on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he have not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. That's like throwing that out. That word is is is, is, is not active, it's not alive in our life if we haven't hidden hidden um it in our hearts, meaning hidden Jesus Christ, who's our Lord and Savior, into our hearts. Let's go to another one. So that means the word, the word about um, for God so loved the world. Second Corinthians five seventeen. Second Corinthians five seventeen. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son is not active and effective in our lives if we don't hide um, God's holy word in our hearts. Therefore, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things become new. Another one. Throw that out. See, so if we don't hide God's holy word in our hearts, that's not going to be active in our life. If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Um, old things are passed away, but all things come new. Because the enemy can come lie to us and, and play with our minds when his word, 
when God's holy word is not hidden in our heart. Let's go to another one. 2 Peter 2 9. Real quickly. Then I'm going to give you the message, the scriptures. 2 Peter 2 9. 2 Peter 2 9. But ye are a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praise of him who have called you out of darkness to his marvelous light. Once again, that 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 ver verse right there will not be active in our lives that we are a royal priesthood, a, a um, chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a, ho a holy nation, God's peculiar or purchased people who, who have called us out of darkness into his marvelous light that we should show forth his praise. Um, if we don't hide God's holy word in our heart, who is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So, as you see, I tore words out of the Holy Bible, the King James Version Bible, and that was a, a, a illustration of how God is, is, is telling us that if we don't hide his word, hide Jesus Christ in our hearts, meaning how allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us, having the hardest repentance towards our sin nature, only they look into him, not meaning we're perfect, but we look to his perfection, then the word is not alive in our lives. His word stands no matter what. But his word won't be alive. So it don't mean nothing for us to think that the Holy Bible is sacred if we don't hide his holy word into our heart. Let's go to Psalms 119 real quickly. Psalms 119. Let's see what David is saying. Let's see what the word is saying in Psalm 119. Let's see what's going on here. 11 through 22 says, Thy word have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against thee. You see? Because the word is hid in his heart, he might not sin, meaning he won't willfully sin, meaning he will have a heart to repent when he, when he make a mistake. Blessed art thou, O Lord, teach me thy statutes. With, with my lips have I declared all thy judgments of thy mouth. I have rejoiced in the way of thy testimony as much as in all riches. I will meditate in thy precepts and have respect unto thy ways. I will delight myself in thy statutes. I will not forget thy word. Why? Because he have hidden his word God's holy word, who is Jesus Christ in his heart. It says, Deal bountifully with thy servant, that I may live and keep thy word. Open thou my eyes, that I may behold wondrous things out of thy law. I am a stranger in the earth. Hide not thy commandments from me. See? He's hiding the holy word, God's holy word in his heart, who is Jesus Christ. Having a relationship, having a heart of repentance towards sin nature, looking to him on a daily. It says, My soul breaketh forth the the longing that I, it has unto thy judgment at all times. Thou hast rebuked the proud that are cursed, which do err from thy commandments. Remove from, from me reproach and contempt, for I have kept thy testimonies. How? Because he have hidden God's holy word in his heart. This is not about following a set of rules. This is not about tradition of men. It's not about self-righteousness. You got people that, that, that know how to have church etiquette and go to church seven days a week, twice on Sunday, twice on Sunday, know how to talk. To people who are in the church or whatever the case may be, you know how to dress the right way and, and look the right way. But if the word is not hidden in our heart, it means nothing. That's all tradition of men. If we if, if we feel that God's holy word is sacred, and we just believe, oh, the Bible is sacred. I can't tear pages out of the Bible. I can't I can't bend the Bible. I can't sit it on the ground or all this. I can't sit on, on, on nothing on top of the Bible. What does that mean if God's word is not hidden in our heart? Who is our Lord, Savior Jesus Christ? We don't have a heart of repentance for our sin nature. If we're okay in homosexuality, if we're okay in sex outside of marriage, if we're okay in turning up and drinking and smoking and partying, if we're okay in watching, watching certain shows and listening to certain music, if we're okay in um, unforgiveness in our heart, if we're okay in um, pornography and, and masturbation, if we're okay in cursing and, and lying and deceit and, and, and self-righteousness and, 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 and racism and all these things and materialism, it means nothing that if we think that the word is sacred and 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 we and we we believe that the holy bible is sacred and um and we don't hide the word of god in our hearts. So let's go to St. John. St. John 14. Watch what it says, St. John 14. Very powerful message. God showed me this in a vision, this illustration. He said he said to me that it means nothing for people to believe in my holy bible that in my holy word is sacred, but they choose not to serve me, choose not to surrender all to me, choose not to have a heart of repentance, but to live how they want to live. It means nothing. But us believing that the Holy Bible is sacred won't, won't, won't get us get us into heaven. Only way we get into heaven is through Jesus Christ. Look at him on a day with the heart of repentance towards our sin nature. And on, then and only then are we saved. Um, St. John 14, 23 through 27. 
Jesus answered and said unto him, if, if a man love me, he will keep my words, and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode with him. He that loveth me not, keepeth not my sayings, and the word which you hear is not mine, but the Father's which sent me. These things have I spoken unto you, being yet present with you. But the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things. You see that? And bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. See, he can't bring it up to remembrance. If we don't hide his, hide, hide his word in our hearts, we don't hide Jesus Christ in our hearts, the Holy Spirit can't lead us. We can't be Holy Spirit led. We can't do it by just... Oh, I know scriptures and, and I know the knowledge. I have knowledge of the word. No, we have to hide in our heart. We have to love Jesus. We have to fall in love with God. I said that before. We have to fall in love with God. We have to love Jesus to death. We have to more, love him more than life itself. It says, peace um, I leave with you. My peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. So we see here, his peace. The only way we have his peace is if is if he his 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 word if Christ, Jesus Christ is hidden in our hearts, meaning we 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 allowing this Holy Spirit to lead us, having a heart of repentance to our sin nature on the day to look at him. So we must hide God's holy word, who is our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, in our hearts. We must hide him in our hearts. Um, and that goes for um each and every one of us. No one is exempt. No one will be perfect. On our, I say my best day, I'm a zillion miles away from being perfect. On your best day, you're a zillion miles away from being perfect. Paul said, I want to do good. He said, when I want to do good, evil is present with me. So it's always going to be a constant struggle, but we, we must hide God's holy word in our hearts. We're not going to get around that. So the Bible, the, we, we can say the Bible is sacred all we want. We say the, the holy Bible is sacred. Okay, but what does that mean if you if if, if his words are not hidden in your heart, if Jesus Christ is not in your, hidden in your heart? If you're not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead you, if we're not allowing the Holy Spirit to lead us, the Bible means nothing to us. It means nothing in our life. The Word of God stands for to let God be true and every man liar, but it's not going to mean nothing in, in, in our lives. It's not going to be effective in our lives if we don't hide his Holy Word into our hearts, who is Jesus Christ, meaning having, us having a heart of repentance to our sin nation on a daily look at them. Remember, you're amazing inside of Christ. He loves you. He will never leave you nor forsake you. I love you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. This is the gospel movement, yo. Jesus Christ movement. Spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ in its entirety without compromise. Read Psalms 119, 11 through 22. St. John 14, 23 through 27. Remember, we must hide God's holy word, who is our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, in our hearts. Love you, Jesus.